Welcome back to Capitol Review. I'm Mark Hall in for Tasmin Mahfouz this week. The Biden administration announced a new student loan relief plan. DC News Now's Ben Dennis spoke with the U.S. Department of Education Undersecretary James Kroll on how this plan will help people across the country. Mr. Undersecretary, thank you for joining us on Capital Review. Let's talk about the new SAVE plan and how it can help people when it comes to paying their student loans. There's a change here, paying back what you can, uh, and it's all based on income. That's right. We're launching today the SAVE plan. It's the most affordable way to repay your student loans ever. And your payments will be based on your earnings. If you earn less than about $15 an hour, you will not owe any payments, and that's because we don't want student loans pushing people into poverty. And the other thing that's important about this uh, plan is that we're changing the way um, interest works. So no longer, if you pay what you owe, will you see interest run away and you end up paying um, more than what you originally balanced. We're ending that with the SAVE plan. So really excited to make this available for borrowers. Um, and you can sign up starting today. And we want to get into how you can do that in just a moment. But I did want to ask, uh, the Supreme Court, as you know, knocked down the president's first push to forgive $400 billion in federal student loan debt. But tell us more of why you're confident that the second go might achieve this before we get into more about SAVE. Well, we're going to continue to do everything we can to make student loans affordable for borrowers. The SAVE plan, we have the authority to create new student loan repayment plans. It's one we've exercised a number of times before. And we're confident this is going to deliver real value for students. It's going to help students save a lot of money. And that's part of our plan to make sure that students get access to the benefits they're entitled to, public service loan forgiveness, among others. Um, and we're also looking at creating new categories of loan forgiveness. We're starting a new process to do that as well. So we're going to keep moving forward on all fronts to try and fix uh, the broken student loan system that we have and make sure that students get the benefits of college and they're not left with debts they can't afford. Certainly there is a process for somebody to go through the, uh, the SAVE plan, but what is your department doing to let them know that this is something that they can take advantage of? Will you be sending out emails, much like how uh, you did when people could have signed up for the chance to have their student loans forgiven? We are. We're reaching out directly to borrowers through email, through text, through social media. We're also partnering with grassroots groups to uh, get the word out to their constituents. Um, and um, we want to make this as simple and easy as possible for borrowers. If you go to studentaid.gov, you can apply for the SAVE plan. It takes less than 10 minutes. If you're eligible for loan forgiveness, your options are all there, too. So. I think it's really important for borrowers to be in touch with us and make sure they're taking advantage of all the benefits that exist on, on a federal student loan. And millions of borrowers are burdened by federal student loan debt, but also the private sector as well with private student loans. If someone is also burdened by those private loans, you know, obviously this is not something that you can, you know, change the rules on the terms and conditions of taking out those private loans. But what would you say to a borrower who's also burdened by those private loans? Well, I would look at what all your options are. Oftentimes, you can refinance those loans um, at lower cost. And the way we can help is by making sure your federal loans are as affordable as possible. And by trying to bring down those payments on federal loans, um, hopefully you can prioritize paying off those private loans, which often have higher interest rates. And if you could, what is the quickest and easiest way for somebody to sign up for the changes now in effect from the SAFE plan? Come to studentaid.gov. Click a link for the save plan. It takes less than 10 minutes. Mr. Undersecretary, start the clock less than 10 minutes from now. Thank you for joining us.